Alright, welcome to the combat system part 2, I guess you call this. Where we left off doing the enemies, working on the enemies' attack, so we already have the player's attack. We have this, basic fight um, method. And then we added enemies, and we added logic for which enemies we fight. And we also added golden potions. So, let's do logic for E attack. So, if E attack equals enemy dot attack divided by two, we'll print the enemy missed. Else, print the enemy deals that much damage. This will be E attack. Player IG dot health minus equal E attack. And then so option equal raw input. Oh and if so if player g dot health is less than or equal to zero go to die else and go back to fight we need to do that up here too so an if enemy dot health less than or equal to zero go to win but let's do that after this like that and that'll work and then we can define win and dead and I put die let's put dead So, he has changed to dead. Alright, so if he attack, enemy misses, enemy deals. Yeah, so it looks fine for now. And then we'll do the drink potion function. So, if... Let's clear this. If... Toss equals zero. Print, you don't have any potions. And then pause. So wait for the user to type in enter. And we'll go back to fight. Else, we'll print, you have, you drank a potion. We can do this, a so player IG dot health plus equal 50. So drinking a potion will give you 50 health. But if, say, the player has 70 health and their max health is 100, we want to set their health equal to max health so they don't go over their max health. So if it's greater than that max health, then We'll set the health equal to the player's max health. So what's this? Invalid syntax. Oh yeah, double equal. Health. Okay. So then you drink a potion. Alright, and then after that. Actually, we can get rid of this. And then put that at the bottom of this. So after this is all done, it's going to pause, player presses enter, goes to fight. Alright, now let's do run. So we'll make a function, or a variable called run number. Then will equal random.rand integer. One out of three. So I have a one in three chance of getting away. So if 
run num equals three. And I'll just do one. Then print you have successfully ran away. Then I'll pause. And you go back to start one. Else, let's print you fail to get away. Let's go this first. You fail to get away. Then we'll pause. Clear the screen. And then the enemy will attack you. So what we need to do is copy this. We'll put that right here. Then we need to tab this over. Tab that over. No. Yeah. Okay. Put. That should all work. And then we need what e attack equals. Copy that. We can put that right here. You can put it. You can put it anywhere, as long as it's not below any of this. Alright, so if random equals 1, how else? Fill it away. So that should all work. Now we need a win. So we'll print, you have defeated the. Well, let's just do this and then do enemy.name. And then print, you found gold. And that'll be the enemy at gold gain. Option equals score input. We also need to do player ig dot gold plus equal dot gold gain. Now after this you go to start one. But if you die, double print you have died. Oh yeah, you need colons right here. Option we go raw underscore input. And then after all this, then the program just ends because you're dead. Start system. Open errors. Save. Let's try and run this. Start. Okay, gold, zero, potion, zero. All right, let's try and fight. Four, okay. Let's try and run. You failed to get away, then we'll four damage. You successfully ran away. Okay, get another fight. Vincent versus zombie, Vincent's health, 96. Okay, zombie's health, 70. All right, deal nine damage, and we missed. You defeated the zombie and found 15 gold. All right, and you see our goal is 15. Another thing we could do though is right here. Clear the screen for both of these. I also want to see if you can die. Oh, another thing. All right, I just thought about this. You see that when I attack the zombie, he died immediately. That's because you need to do after you win enemy dot health equals enemy dot max health. You need to reset their health, or else it will stay under zero. So every time you attack them, they'll die no matter what. 
I remember that happening to me once, and I couldn't figure it out. So you need that. And... So yeah, everything else should work. I'm pretty sure the player can die. And uh, yeah, so this is what you, sh what you should have. You can compare code to line. And then the next tutorial, we'll work on getting the store going and being able to buy weapons and stuff. Alright, see you in the next